I have an awesome episode for you today. I'm excited about this. I'm going to share with you a Eugene Schwartz copywriting trick that will lead to automatic instant improvement in your copywriting. Now, uh, I do have to warn you that a lot of the ads that I'm going to use as examples today are not necessarily compliant with current legal or other um, other compliance related restrictions on advertising. I don't know whether or not any one of these particular ads would fly in any particular advertising media today, but what I can tell you is that when Eugene Schwartz used these, they worked, and the principle that I'm going to share with you today is just as effective if you use it to write compliant advertising. And so with that, I think we should dive into the Eugene Schwartz copywriting trick. These are the proven direct response marketing, copywriting, and entrepreneurship success strategies you can use today to write your own ticket and create the life you want. I am Roy Furr, and this is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Now, here's today's breakthrough. So uh, for this, I, I've kind of already teased what the Eugene Schwartz copywriting trick is by saying this is going to give you automatic instant improvement. In fact, when when Eugene Schwartz launched a publishing company that was one of his ventures in in direct response marketing, he actually called the company Instant Improvement Inc. Instant Improvement Inc. And he specialized in publishing books that essentially promised instant improvement at whatever skill or or whatever uh, he was he was teaching you about in those books. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to look at some of the different ways that Eugene Schwartz promised that you would be able to get results instantly and automatically and uh, and and learn from his example how we can use this same idea in our copywriting. So let me share I've put together a a quick slideshow with a few of his uh, a few of his ads that are floating around out there. So uh, the headline for this one, and and by the way, if you're listening to this on the audio version of the podcast, you can certainly pop onto my YouTube channel, search Roy Fur on YouTube, or search the title of this episode on YouTube, and and you'll be able to find the video there. Um, if you're watching this. You know, of course, you're you're seeing this on the screen, and I'm going to be reading the important copy for each of these ads. Uh, so this first one, the headline, now the world's greatest minds force feed their knowledge into your brain automatically. And the, the name of the, uh, the name of the product is the automated learning program. So I talk about automatic instant improvement. This is, you know, this is the world's smartest people force feeding their knowledge into your brain automatically, which is it, it implies that there is zero effort to get the result of being smarter, being more knowledgeable, having having more knowledge, wisdom, whatever, that there is zero effort involved. All you have to do is buy this product and listen to the tapes, it appears. Um, you know, this was available when it was tapes. And you would just you would just uh, you would get the get the knowledge in your brain and you didn't have to do any work. This is another one. This is uh, this is an implication, right? Um, because we have this understanding about um, about hypnotism, and um, so reading the the actually I'm going to read the the prehead, and I'm going to read the headline. So the prehead is for the first time, the expert who teaches doctors how to cure with hypnotism helps you unleash explosive powers you've kept chained up since babyhood. And the headline, are you ready to use self-hypnotism to make life give you what you want? And so the implication of hypnosis is that it taps into some power inside our mind that is uh, that's that's latent, that's there, but that is that is untapped, that's not being used. And so the idea of using self-hypnotism, again, this implies automatic. And the other thing about hypnosis is there is a, there's an understanding that it is instant. You go through one hypnosis session and transformation occurs. And 
So saying, are you ready to use self-hypnotism to make life give you what you want? Well, that again, it implies automatic and instant improvement. And, um, and the, the, one of the, the wonderful things that Schwartz did here was um, he says, unleash explosive powers you've kept chained up since babyhood. So there's um, unleashing explosive powers. Again, that's automatic, instant improvement. It's, it's this idea that we are going to, um, that we're going to instantly unleash some internal power that we already have existing inside of us. All that we need is this self-hypnosis session to, uh, to unlock that. Next up, don't pay one penny till this course turns you into a human computer. Don't pay one penny till this course turns you into a human computer. So the course will turn you. Like note that, um, note the S on the end of turns. Um, and and it, uh, what it is, is, is that S um, makes, the, makes the action, it makes it automatic. And, uh, you know, my grammar teacher from middle school or whatever would, um, would harp on me because I'm a writer and I can't tell you what part of speech or whatever the transformation is there. But, um, you know, one way that a copywriter might write this that would feel way less automatic, and I'm guilty of this too, would be turn yourself into a human computer. Or don't pay one penny until you turn yourself into a human computer. But that's not how Schwartz wrote That's not how, how Eugene Schwartz wrote this. He wrote it, don't pay one penny till this course turns you into a human computer. So the course will be doing the action, which implies that it's automatic on your part, that all you have to do is get the course and it will turn you automatically into a human computer. And the subhead, um, you know, before you get into the body copy is yes, here at last is your chance to liberate the undiscovered brilliance inside you. And so um, it's, it's, again, like this, it implies that everything is so easy and automatic. And, um, you know, I, I often talk in teaching copywriting how things need to be fast, easy, free, fast, easy, free. Well, automatic, instant improvement, like it's, that's, that's, this is what I'm tapping into when I say that. And so if something is fast, of course, you know, instant is the fastest of fast. Um, <laughs> easy, automatic is the easiest of easy, right? And um, and free, I don't necessarily mean free. What I often mean is that the um, that the return on investment is so glaringly, obviously above and beyond whatever you would invest that it um, it is essentially like buying money at a discount. It's free. And um, and one way that you can play with that is with something like a guarantee. Don't pay one penny till this course turns you into a human computer. So it's automatic and it is instant and they don't pay one penny implies that it's free until or unless you get the results. <laughs> and then um, because Schwartz was not above using his own good headlines twice. He said his, this, this additional one is don't pay a penny till this course turns your mind into a mental magnet. Don't pay a penny till this course turns your mind into a mental magnet. So again, all the same things apply there. I'm going to read the sub subhead that automatically automatically, right? That automatically draws friends, power, love, money far beyond your fondest dreams into your life overnight. Automatically, overnight, automatic, instant improvement. Hello, Eugene Schwartz all over the place. This is, um, this is his, his, I, I mean, this is him doing the automatic instant improvement in topic after topic and subject after subject. At last, instant relaxation. At last, instant relaxation. Um, and like instant, instant, like this is instant improvement. It is implying that, oh, there is a way to instantly relax. Oh, I feel stressed. Maybe I need instant relaxation. That sounds great. You know, it maybe I, I used to think I had to go on a vacation and I, I would have to spend months stressing out planning the vacation and whatever, but this promise promises me instant relaxation. <laughs> Here, um, again, like, uh, you know, maybe this is, this is uh, outside of compliance, but, uh, but nonetheless, it is an example of the, the power of Eugene Schwartz's copy. 
the the prehead is it true the amazing secret of telecult power so this it sets it up as a question which is actually a great way that you can um, in some cases overcome that natural skepticism that we have to a promise of automatic instant improvement so if you set it up as a question is it true the amazing secret of telecult power and then this, the headline automatically brings you anything you desire. Really big, top of the page. Automatically brings you anything you desire. Wow, uh, automatic instant improvement, I suppose. Um, and and the and this is, I believe, the same uh, the same offer as that mental magnet. Um, it the the subhead and in ten seconds starts to draw riches, love, find possessions, friends, power, secret knowledge, and much more into your life question mark there, um, which finishes that question started in the prehead. See for yourself, exclamation point. And, uh, and, and so again, like this is, it is just, it's, it's presenting the outcome that you want in terms of it being automatic and, uh, and essentially instant in 10 seconds. How about this for another one? Your eyes can heal themselves your eyes can heal themselves. Now this isn't necessarily, um, this doesn't have that same, uh, that, that same instant improvement, right? But it does have a sense of, of automatic improvement and it, it all hinges on, on the sub headline of once you learn to relax them back towards normal, this eye specialist ingenious way. So your eyes can heal themselves. It, it creates the sense of, of, of automatic improvement, right? And, um, and it starts the instant you learn to relax them back towards normal. And the last couple ones that I have for you are, are, are money-making related. They're related to business or, or so on. Um, is it possible, the, the, the pre-head here, is it possible? An automatic income for life. So that promise, again, it's automatic improvement, right? An automatic in income for life of $20,000, $50,000, $100,000 a year without working from a business that runs itself. And, um, and, and so the, the automatic nature of this is what really like jumps out and, and is that classic Eugene Schwartz style of, hey, how can I find the angle behind this product that promises automatic instant improvement. And the more automatic of a headline promise I can make, the more instant of a headline promise I can make, the, the, the more I can make things essentially, you know, as fast as possible, as easy as possible, as, as cheap or free as possible, affordable as possible. Like this is, it's, it's exactly, um, what Eugene Schwartz tried to do as much as possible in every single ad that he um, that he wrote, and uh, and this one um, is it immoral to make money this easily? Is it immoral to make money this easily? Uh, so so uh, the the make money this easily is the point that I'm, you know, that's, that's the copy I'm pointing out here. Again, it implies the sense of, oh, this is automatic. It's, it's, it's something where you just get the result automatically. And so it uses that question to kind of deflect from the promise of this is how you make money super easily, right? So it uses the, is it a moral question to deflect from that. So uh, the question then becomes here, how can you use this principle of automatic instant improvement or fast, easy, free in your copywriting? How can you, how can you look at the offers that you're making or that your clients are making and, and, and set, it, set it up, present it in a way where you show the possibility of it being as fast as possible, as easy as possible, as you know, free as possible or high ROI as possible. Uh, how can you, how can you, like what, what version of the true story points to success being as automatic as possible, as, as instant as possible? And of course, if your product or service doesn't, like, if there is no way that that promise ever becomes true, then 
you have the potential to get in a lot of trouble with regulatory authorities, with, you know, in legal trouble, etc. Um, but if your, if your product, if there is a way where your product is able to fulfill on that automatic instant improvement, um, and, and you can find a way to work that into how you present it, there is potentially some very big opportunity for you there by remembering the Eugene Schwartz copywriting trick and using language that feels as automatic as possible, as, as instant as possible, and all directed towards achieving that prospect's desired outcome. Now, uh, what I will say is, I do think that Eugene Schwartz, um, he is on to something, and, and he studied human psychology, he studied um, all sorts of different, he studied all sorts of different um, understandings of how the mind works. And one of the things that he studied is hypnotism and self-hypnotism. And even in this description of things as automatic and instant, what he was effectively doing was using hypnotic type language to direct the prospect's attention towards that result that they wanted. And his copy, if you study it, is actually full of a lot of hypnotic type language. And uh, a few months back, I actually published a training called Slight of Pen. And, um, and it goes deep into, among many other things, different types of hypnotic language and how they can be used in your copywriting, how you can how you can sit down and by using the principles of hypnotic language, find yourself just creating something that without even saying it necessarily feels more automatic and instant to your prospects. And when you find yourself writing copy that works that way, what you may also find is that the copy that you're writing also makes more sales, generates more leads, more customers, and, and, and more profits. And so I'll include a link uh, in, this, in this episode's description to the sleight of pen training through BTMS Insiders. It is, uh, it's part of the BTMS Insiders training library, which it's like Netflix for copywriting and marketing training, where you pay one low monthly fee, you get access to all of my training there. And so I'll include a link again to Slide of Pen and to the BTMS Insiders All Access Pass description, where you can learn more about that membership. My name is Roy Fur. This has been your daily episode of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. I would love it if you'd leave a comment or review with this episode. Let me know on a scale of 1 to 10 how valuable you're finding it and why. What are your action items? What are your takeaways? You know, what are, how are you going to write copy differently as a result of, of what you've just heard? Also, tap that like button before you go so you get more content like this delivered to you and so the magical algorithms of the internet will know to share it with more people like you who will find it valuable. You can sh certainly share it with folks directly and subscribe before you go. You can subscribe here. You can also go to BreakthroughMarketingSecrets.com, sign up for my daily emails Monday through Friday. You'll get these episode notifications as well as more exclusive content for uh, email for email subscribers. Again, I'm Roy Fur for Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. I always aim for 10 out of 10 value. And uh, frankly, if we are admiring Eugene Schwartz's copy, I think that it's hard for me to, uh, you know, I, my any value that I would deliver is just an echo of his constant 10 out of 10 value in terms of the example he sets for us as copywriters. So I hope I've given you 10 out of 10 value and I look forward to seeing you again in the next episode. See you soon. Bye. Thank you once again for tuning in to this daily episode of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Remember, check out the links with this episode for even more value. Now make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and engage in every way you can to keep this show going and growing and delivering daily value to you. I'll catch you soon for your next big breakthrough.